Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of two digit by one digit multiplication. This is standard 3.4G in the great state of Texas and we are using item number two of the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, and then unpause it. We will look at our answers together. So we have uh, members of a gym, they use 98 towels every day, and how many towels are used in seven days? So we have two simple numbers here. We've got 98 and we've got seven. So every single day. So if I wanted to say this box is a day, then they're going to use 98 towels. And assuming they use the same number every single day, well, it looks like I'm going to have seven groups of 98. Now, if I wanted to, I could add those numbers. Repeated addition would work, but that would be that would be kind of long and hard. So let's look at different ways that we can do two digit by one digit multiplication. Now, this first one I want to show you works just fine. It might not be the way your parents know how to do it, but your teacher probably showed you how to use partial products and it gets the correct answer just like the standard algorithm does. What partial products does is we take our 98 and we take our seven, we're gonna multiply them vertically, here, but we're gonna take each place value separately. So first we're gonna look at this eight times seven. Now this is a multiplication fact, we've gotta know our facts. So I'm gonna assume that you know your fact and we know that eight times seven is 56. We're just gonna write it both right down there. Now we're gonna take our one digit number down here and we're gonna multiply it by the other number. Now here's the thing, this nine right here, this is in the tens place, right? The eight is in the ones place, the nine is in the tens place. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put a zero right there in the ones place, because when I'm writing down my partial products, I want my answer to start for the second number in the tens place right here, because this nine starts in the tens place. It's really 90, not really nine. But now I'm gonna multiply nine times seven, and that's going to be 63. And so that's why that zero was very important because that nine is really a 90. So if I did 90 times seven, you would see that it is going to be 630. That's what we needed. And then you just add those up. You get two partial products. You add those up and you are going to get 686. Now, your parents are probably familiar with what we call the standard algorithm. Standard just means the normal or the traditional way. It's going to be very similar. We're just going to do one thing separate. 98 times 7. So we're going to say 56, but we're going to regroup just like we do with adding. Instead of putting that 5 down in the tens place, we're going to put it up here up above this five. Now this is where it gets kind of tricky. You need to multiply these two numbers first. We don't have to worry about a zero now because there's already a six in the ones place. So our answer 63 is already going to start in the tens place. So that's good. But we multiply first, but then we have to add that five back in these five tens that came from the 56. So it's going to be 63 is what nine times seven is. And we got to add that five back in and eventually you can kind of do it m mentally. And so we've got 686. So you could either do it standard algorithm or you could do it with partial products, but either way, you're going to get 686. Now, where do some of these incorrect answers come from? Well, 636. Watch what happens if I don't know how to regroup. If I go 98 times seven, and I'm just going to say 8 times 7 is 56, but I don't know what to do with the 5, so I'm just going to throw away 9 times 7 is 63. That's how we get 636. To get 14, we have to take our 98, and we have to divide it by 7. And that's actually going to get you 14. And that's how we get our 91. We take our 98, but rather than dividing, we just subtract, and we get our 91. So you can... Subtract, you can divide, you can multiply, you can get incorrect answers, but our answer is going to be H686.